Ministry of Lands is relying on the support of national security to enforce the directive on suspension of all mining activities in forest reserves. A one-week ultimatum has expired for all cognizance and prospecting activities to cease, but the Ministry says some recalcitrant miners are yet to move their equipment from site. Deputy Minister-designate for Lands Benito Usubiu and Chief Executive of the Forest Co Forestry Commission John Alote uh, monitored the levels of compliance in some areas. Ohiming Terrier, who joined the team, filed this report. The hectares of virgin forests have been destroyed in the Oda Forest Reserve. Officials at the Ministry of Lands say owners of the concession have satisfied all mining requirements except the acquisition of a mining operating permit. Several hectares of mined lands had been reclaimed by the miners who had acquired mining lease, forestry entry permit, among others. A makeshift camp, excavators and bulldozers under the protection of some security men were on site. Benito Owusubiu was unhappy with the failure of the miners to suspend operations. He ordered one of the excavators and makeshift camp to be set on fire to deter other operators. This particular forest reserve, Oda River, the company that is working here has been informed, written to, by the district forest officer. And also previously in January, an exercise was carried on here. And in that exercise, 10 excavators were impounded here and seized and sent to Bekwai. And still, they are here. So it tells you that they are recalcitrant. We will onward relay the information to the national security apparatus enforcement is not the work of our ministry. The enforcement aspect of it is the mandate of the national security apparatus. We would let them carry on with their work to serve as a deterrent to others, especially this company which is recalcitrant and is not prepared to listen. The story was, however, different at the Subin Water Belt Reserve, where illegal miners had destroyed the forest and part of Cocoa Farm with impunity. Most of the Cocoa Farm, they've destroyed them. Look, if you look over there, you see the Cocoa Farms. The situation has left several open mining pits scattered on the field. Economic viable tree species such as Hedria and Cidrella have been destroyed. Though no one was seen on site at the time of the visit, Mr. Osubio was incensed at the level of devastation. This particular forest reserve, there has been no application for any uh, prospecting or reconnaissance whatsoever. So what you see here was a total blatant illegality. And look at the level of destruction. See the number of forest trees that they have destroyed. The tree you see behind here is uh, a shade tree. And you know what shade tree is. A very good economic tree. They've destroyed them all. Fortunately, uh, when the head of the automotive that was given to them, I understand they have withdrawn and uh, have taken away all the equipment. So what it means is that the ultimatum and then the ban is working. Mr. Ousubiu wants further investigations into the conduct of the mining operators. Our forest reserves are important and they serve as a cover for our rivers. We will look for them anyway. We will do investigation and see if we can find whoever came here to do this. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Ohim Interior. Right, Ohim Interior there in the Santi region.